good morning or good evening or wherever you are. How you do? I know it's been about 24 hours or so that I've done anything in vlogging wise. But uh, yesterday uh, I was waiting to hear from my younger brother in regards to the pictures. He actually uploaded some today on uh, Facebook. So you might be able to link it over to my side on Facebook itself. Uh, other than that, I actually went out for a walk. Had went outside for some lunch and all that and I actually picked up some movies uh, there's a store called HMV which is now going bankrupt so they're liquidating all their uh, videos music so on and so forth I happened to pick up three films because I still had a what you call it those gift cards and I figured to uh, at least pick up or at least use the gift card that I had left over and I picked up about three movies uh, one of them I know was Totally crap from what I heard from friends and all that, which happens to be this one here. This is the la this is the latest one that came out or a reboot of the Fantastic Four because I know the original one that they uh, came back with a number of years ago was okay. It wasn't you know super fantastic, but that at least that one was a lot better than this one here. Uh, I'm still I'm still in the midst of watching this, so it's not completely. I'm not completely finished seeing it as of yet. The other one that I did pick up is a classic one and it's actually been uh, remastered again. Uh, some of you might know this, some of you might not know this. If you do have a chance, uh, definitely rent it or you know pick it up at the uh, store. It's actually called Stripes with Bill, with Bill Murray, if I can get that in properly there without any... There we go. Bill Murray. This is the one there that I had picked up. It's called Extended Cut. So it's not the director's one, but it contains 18 more minutes. Uh, I like this one because it also has John Candy and a few other uh, well-known actors in it. Uh, one thing I liked about this one, because uh, I've seen it already a couple of times uh, when I was younger, uh, especially during the graduation uh, where, where Bill Murray actually brings the team out uh, to the grandstand. Uh, it was it was greatly well done there. Uh, that's one of my favorite parts within that movie. So I love it. That that's why I had to get it. And that one there was a combination of a special two for twenty dollars. So stripes and Fantastic Four. I had to pick up for two for twenty dollars. So that it actually cost me like ten dollar. Uh, ten dollars a piece after the rebate because they had the discount plus I had also the gift card so it's like next to nothing almost the last one that I did pick up is called Star Trek Beyond now I'm kind of a Trekkie fan because I was born in the late 80s and I, I'm a fan of the original Star Trek series you know with William Shatner uh, DeForest Kelly Montgomery Scott which is um, one of the famous actors, James Doohan, uh, Leonard Nimoy, Aspock. So I was the original, you know, Trekkie fan from the late late sixties. Uh, the newer ones, like from uh, you know, Star Trek: uh, The Next Generation, Star Trek: Voyager, Deep Space Nine, a few others. They're okay. I'm not gonna dis. I'm not gonna put them down. They're good. It's a matter of preference because you know how generations are in regards to this. Because if they haven't seen like the original, and they have only seen like uh, Star Trek: The Next Generation or you know Deep Space Nine or Voyager, those are the ones they are more likely to stick stick with until you know unless you're like me who's who's really kind of like ancient now you know uh, you know that's was my kind of preference because it was kind of cheesy but also fun at the same time. It was. You know, at the time uh, where technology wasn't that uh, advanced as it is today, where you have computers and all that everywhere, and you got all this animation and all that, I liked it the way it was with that. Anyhow, uh, besides getting some, uh, doing a lot of exercise yesterday, uh, which actually made you know quite a bit, close to twenty thousand steps. Uh, which is quite a bit. It's about uh, what I did about eighteen thousand, which is about ten point four miles of walking. 
so that's kind of good exercise wise so I haven't weighed myself yet so uh, I might just do that this after uh, sometime during the day or just before I have my uh, my lunch because I didn't have anything besides my orange juice and a cup of coffee this morning so I'm gonna weigh myself just to see just out of curiosity if I gained or lost any I'm, I've been averaging out quite a bit uh, at around 239 weight wise and I've been sticking with the diet that I have and the occasional you know the chocolate bar or whatever which is you know like an occasional treat which I I can cheat because I'm not gonna I'm not trying to gain weight and I'm not trying to lose weight I'm just trying to maintain uh, a steady weight for myself and I feel happy with that so it's not that's not so bad so uh, I'm going to go out soon enough. I'm going to also show you um, uh, a picture of my uh, fracture. Well, not a, an actual x-ray of my fractured arm, but I'm going to show you the bruise on the arm within the video here. So that way you get to see how bad the bruising was. And that was about almost two weeks ago. So I want you know you guys to take a look to see what it looks like afterwards too. So you have an idea of what... I've been going through with the uh, brace so let's go on uh, let's go out see what's happening today I'll take some uh, short videos outside as well and yeah here we are going out for my daily walk and I'm not I'm going to go over to Tim Hortons not this one right over here that's in front of me here as you can see by the sign that is a little too close because I need to get at least my 10,000 steps in I'm going to be heading over to the one by uh, near Place Rosemare. I'll try to do it if the battery's not so weak over there and have a coffee there at the same time. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is just to keep up my exercise for the day and uh, to keep things going. Because you know how it is, if you stop and you decide not to do it, you're going to stop doing the whole thing completely. Uh, I'm not one of those guys that does that. I, wanted, I need to get my exercise done. I need to burn off some of this extra energy that I have and uh, enjoy myself so let's head down that way and see what we can do in order to get my 10,000 steps uh, probably when I get over at the, the other Jim Hortons I'll uh, do a quick little thing there to show you how many steps it is in total right now I'm just under a thousand steps at this point so let's get going anyhow here we are at the halfway point Going over to Tim Hortons, the other the other one near Flash Rosemere. Uh, not so bad. That's what it looks on that side. That's what it looks like down over there. Anyhow, I'm heading over there slowly. I'm going to pick up myself a coffee to warm up a little bit and chat inside there if I can. And if there's not enough of a, uh, of a charge here. Uh, like I said earlier, I'm partly through the Fantastic Four, the new reboot. <laughs> It's not as what I hoped what I hoped it to be, but it's still a movie nonetheless. Just to be able to watch something different on my new uh, my new LCD screen that I have, and so far I like the LCD screen. It works very well, along with the DVD player and my uh, retro pie that I have on it. So that's always kind of fun to play once in a while. I don't play too often on the retro pie, but I should just to get used to the controls and all that and play some of the early console games and the main games which is multiple arcade machine emulator which is good because I have about 15,000 different games on there to play so that's a good sign to have some fun there with that not many, emu not many uh, uh, classical emulators out there because the NES is always outsold so let's head over and take a look in further. And here we are at the Tim Hortons in Laval. No, not in Laval, in Rosemere. And I'm just having a warm, warm up here and then I'm going to be heading back home to get the rest of my walking done. Hopefully it won't be too, bad, too, too bad. I might have to do a third one later on this afternoon just to round it up to 14,000 steps just so I have an even number of steps today so and I'm going to give you a little, little review as well on uh, the movie I fantastic for the reboot just to see see how it is from what I've heard many people say it's crappy but that's another thing that is another story for another time but 
you'll see this afternoon when I uh, finish watching me here, watching it at home, okay? Well, I'm almost finished my whip. whip, whip, whip. Almost finished my cup of coffee, which is a nice cup of coffee from Timmy's. Not that I don't like coffee at home, I do like coffee at home, but this does the trick when you're out going for your walks. But anyhow, like I mentioned, you'll see uh, probably a little review going on on the Fantastic Four the reboot. And uh, besides Stripes, as I had mentioned earlier, which is a great movie to see, along with uh, the other one which I have, which is Star Trek Beyond, which is also another good old movie which I did see in the big theaters. Uh, I highly suggest that if you're a Trekkie fan. So let's get going. And here we are. Halfway down the industrial road. I took the back, back way down instead of taking the normal one just to see if there's a difference and to see if the uh, steps I've taken going this way is either longer or shorter in total just out of curiosity's sake and I'm definitely going to crawl into bed and relax there and uh, watch the rest of the Fantastic Four along with coming back to do a review on it to see what my thoughts are about that and to see if there's anything else happening. Mind you, I doubt there is, especially for a weekend. I wanted to go down to the flea market, couldn't do that today because I would require a lift to get there and a lift to get back. I would have gone down there as well to shoot some footage, but I look at it since it's fairly cool outside and they don't allow cameras inside the uh, flea market there. It's going to be kind of worthless to do so. so. And besides, there's nothing much there. Uh, besides clothing, a couple of electronic stuff there. Uh, some uh, lingerie shops. One that I actually bought some nice things for my ex a long time ago. Anyhow, that's besides the point. Let's just get home so I can warm up again. Back soon. Well, I'm back, folks, and I'm just just got in. Well, about 20 minutes ago, and I've started to watch back uh, the Fantastic Four the remake, the reboot, I should say. So it looks kind of interesting, and I'm also getting my other video editor finally up and running uh, with some of the other um, animation that I need to get done for this. So you'll I'll be using that one uh, as well in regards to this vlog for today. So hopefully everything will be going well. Once I can get this here put together and uh, compre well, put together all in one shot and then transfer over to add the other animation that I'm missing, we'll be okay for the day. So right now I'll let you guys know before the, night, the day is done how I thought about the movie of the Fantastic Four reboot. So I'll be back well, shortly. Well, that was kind of interesting. I got bored of watching uh, the new... Uh, Fantastic Four, right from the get-go, uh, wasn't interesting as I hoped it to be. But there's always going to be another time when uh, another vi video will come out of something similar. And I don't know if I'm going to be watching Star Wars, Star Trek The Beyond, or the other one, which is Stripes. I haven't decided as of yet of what's going to be actually seen this evening but other than that I might as well go with uh, one of the other two just to be able to watch a video uh, graphics was okay on it anime like special effects on it was good and all that but it's not the same as the as the original Fantastic Four that came out a couple of years ago both one and two with the silver server on the second one so uh, one thing I'll add for now, for the time being, is is that uh, I'm going to wait until something else is going to happen and I'll post something up. Uh, I am going to make something uh, in regards to weight loss, uh, how I lost over 140 pounds, close to that, for over the last two years. So you're going to be seeing that being done soon enough. Uh, I'm going to post that up on uh, on this channel here and uh, hopefully you guys will like that uh, get some of you who are interested in the type of uh, motivation of losing weight on your own 
It's very easy to do. It's nothing too complicated. Uh, I've done it myself for the last two years. It's going to be coming two years this coming April 17th. And it's working good. It's working good. I can't complain. Sometimes when you see these, um, uh, what you call it, uh, advertisements for losing weight or going to the gym and all that, the gym is good to go to because you can have different weights and all that. That's not much of a problem. Or even like Pilates because I have a friend of mine by the name of Maddie Urbacanova who's a trainer in the States. And uh, that's what she does for a living. She's a trainer there, a certified trainer. Uh, along as being a model, a part-time model as well, contract work on that. And uh, I, all I can say is the one thing I did to lose the weight was simply by monitoring what I eat in and uh, using a, what they call as a smartwatch to keep track of uh, the steps I take per day. Usually they say it's about 10,000 steps per day for an average person. I've been doing a little bit more than uh, 10,000 steps a day, anywhere between 12 and 25 or 26,000, depending on the day itself too sometimes. So the, the day will vary, and considering I deal with technical support and computer work, I'm sitting mo mostly in front of the computer all day, so the only time I do get a chance to actually exercise is early in the morning coming into work, uh, during my lunch hours, or at night when I go home. So. Uh, that has worked out very well for me and even the doctors were surprised how much weight I lost uh, during, that, during the two years and uh, I'm doing a good job of it and I feel healthier for it so I'm going to cut this uh, vlog short for the day you guys have a great weekend what's left of it wherever you are whether you're in, in the eastern time zone like in Canada and parts of the US or anywhere around the world okay so you guys take care. I'll see you next time around.